Hi there. Suppose you are working on Microsoft Power Platform. That means if you are working on Power BI data sets and Power Platform data flows and you would like to connect with the Azure data services within a VNet, that means virtual network, without the need of an on-premise Power BI data gateway. Then how do you suppose to do it? Or how to access the data from the different Azure data services such as Azure Cosmos DB, Azure SQL Server, that can be Azure Analysis Services, or this can be your SNPs Analytics. Well, we have now the answer for it. Now we can use the Virtual Network Data Gateways. This feature is currently in preview. In my last video, I have already shown it in my Power BI Service Portal under Data Gateway Management Services where we saw two data gateways over there. One on-premise data gateway, another was the virtual network data gateways. So this data gateway we can use to access data from Azure Data Services for Microsoft Power BI data sets as well as Power Platform data flows. So if you would like to know more about it, then please stay tuned with me till the end of this video. Let's start this video with a very basic question. That means, what is Virtual Network Data Gateway or VNet? Well guys, VNet Data Gateway helps you to connect from Microsoft Cloud Services to your Azure Data Services within a VNet without the need of an on-premise data gateway. The VNet or Virtual Network Data Gateway securely communicates with the data sources, execute your queries, and transmit results back to the service. Next, move to the limitations. Well, currently with VNet Data Gateway, you can only get the data from Azure Data Services for Power BI data sets and Power Platform data flows. This feature currently is not gonna support in the sovereign clouds. Also, there's some limitations regarding using the Azure Active Directory. Plus, once you are gonna start using this or you have set up your virtual network data gateway, you cannot change the region, subscription, or resource group. Also, over here, you should keep in mind that only certain data sources are being supported for Power BI datasets and Power Platform data flows. But the good news is that you can also use this for your Power BI paginated reports. However, there also you can use certain data sources only. I'll provide all the links in the description section where you can go and check it out. Next move to the point where we are going to discuss about virtual network. What is it? Well guys, here we are talking about the Azure virtual network because we are going to consume the data services from Azure. Azure virtual network or VNet enable many types of Azure data sources such as Azure virtual machines to securely communicate with each other, the internet and on-premise networks. This offers you direct connectivity to Azure resources over an optimized route over the Azure Backbone network. Next, we are going to discuss about virtual networks, private links, and Power BI. What is the connection between these? Well, you could categorize your communication with Power BI with respect to Azure VNets into certain categories. That means you can secure inbound connections to Power BI from your network using private links. And also, you can secure outbound connectivity from Power BI to data sources within a VNet. Over here, the scope of this discussion is restricted to only secure outbound connectivity from Power BI to data sources within a VNet. The Azure resources associated to VNet could include your Azure data services like Azure SQL, SNPs Analytics, Azure Data Explorer, and others that I just discussed with you. Now, let's move forward and discuss about the virtual network data gateway architecture. How does it work? Over here, the very first step is where Power BI Cloud Service kicks off a query and send the query data source details and credentials to the Microsoft Power Platform VNet services. So this is going to be your very first step. In the second one, the Microsoft Power Platform VNet then securely injects a container running the VNet data gateway into the subnet then it comes to the Microsoft Power Platform where VNet service sends the query, data source details and credentials to the VNet data gateway because it has to pass through the virtual network data gateway. After that, 
the vnet or virtual network data gateway gets the query and connect to the data source with those credentials once it's going to complete then the query is sent to the data source for execution where your data source execution is going to be completed and after the execution the results are sent to the vnet data gateway and the microsoft power platform vnet services securely pushes the data from the container to the cloud service so this is how the whole process is going to complete into five to six steps now we are going to move to the demo part where i'm going to show you how to follow a three-step process and how to create a virtual network data gateway onto your power base service or microsoft power platform admin center hi as you can see currently i'm on my microsoft power bi service portal so once you are on to your microsoft power bi service portal you have to click on this icon which is a gearing icon and over here you would find different options so please select manage gateways once you are over here you are going to find two options one on premise data gateways and second is virtual network data gateways we are going to click over here on virtual network data gateways once you will click over here you will find certain text over here if you would like to create a virtual network data gateway you have to click over here as soon as you click over here you would get a new pop-up window which is saying new virtual network data gateway over here you have to select your subscription that means your azure subscription what we are trying to do over here we are trying to connect power bi data sets to the azure data services that's why you should select here over your azure subscription right now i have one azure subscription which is azure subscription one so i can select this one however as soon as you will select it you would see that please register microsoft power platform as a resource provider for this subscription to continue creating a virtual network data gateway which i haven't done yet so in order to do this we have to follow three steps that means step one would be to register microsoft power platform as a resource provider second would be to associate the subnet to microsoft power platform and third would be to create a vnet data gateway so those three steps are really important without that you cannot create it or you cannot get data or refresh data from azure data services to microsoft power bi data sets once you login into your azure portal now you have to go to your azure subscription over here you can see that i have azure subscription one so i navigate to this one then you will see this pane on your left hand side here you have to navigate to resource providers over here if you would come down you would definitely see resource providers over here now once you are over here what you have to do you have to select your microsoft dot power platform you can search over here platform and here you would find microsoft dot power platform so we have to select on this and we have to register it which is not there so what we can do we can just select this register button and here it's registering it we have to keep it refreshing now over here you can see that it has been registered there's a green mark over here that means it has been successfully registered so now first we have to go to our virtual network so that we can create one over there and only then we can create our vnet or subnet so how to do that so what i'm going to do over here i'm going to add a new subnet so let me first go to my virtual networks so for that i can try to search over here virtual networks on the top you would find this option virtual networks over here you can see that currently i have no virtual network so let's create one here it's saying your deployment is completed so we can go to our resources and this is our name that is pp underscore vnet now we have to add a new subnet for that you would see on your left hand side there are the subnet so click on this one and here we can click on this plus button that means we are going to add a new subnet as soon as you do that you have to provide a name over here now we are not going to make much of the changes over here except we are going to make a change over here where it's saying delegate subnet to service so here we have to select our power platform 
here you would get this Microsoft Power Platform VNet access link. So click on this one. That's all we need to do over here and save it. As you can see that we have created our PP vent subnet. Now the next step would be step number three, which would be create a VNet data gateway. In order to create that, you have to log in into or sign in into the Power Platform Admin Center. Let me log in over there. Now I'm into my Power Platform Admin Center and if you would like to check the link, I'll provide you link in the description section or you can also just simply Google Power Platform Admin Center and you can directly sign in from there. Once you've done that, you have to go to your data preview tab, which is on my left hand side, this one. Here you can see all your on-premise data gateways and virtual data network gateway. Now we have to select this virtual network data gateway and we have to create a new one. Just select over here and here again you would get the similar option that you are getting the same on the Power BI portal where you can create a new virtual network data gateway. Now what we have to do, we have to select our subscription. As soon as you select your subscription, it's going to ask you the resource group that you have created over there, which is our Power BI. And now the third one is going to ask you your virtual network. So you have to select your virtual network over here, which is our PPVNet. And after that, you have to also select your subnet. So in the subnet, we already created this PPVent subnet. So just select this, it's going to validate everything. Now you would get certain advanced option as well over here. That means if you have high availability and load balancing for virtual network data gateways, how you are going to manage that. So here you can select the number of gateways. The maximum number are three where 18 queries can run in parallel. So you can also select time interval for inactivity before auto pause, 30 minutes, one hour or up to 24 hours. And here we are also going to select the number of gateways only one where only six queries can run in parallel and save it. That's all you need to do in order to create your virtual network data gateways. You have to wait for a couple of minutes. Now you can see that we have created PPVNet, PPVent subnet as our virtual network data gateway. You can close this window now and here you can get all the information about it. As soon as you land over here on this on-premise data gateways or in other words, let's say you are coming on this Power BI service portal and over here, let's suppose you come to manage gateways. There, you would get this option, manage gateway installers. This is very important. Now you can restrict who can install the Power BI data gateways or gateways onto your Power BI services or who cannot. There is an option to restrict users in your organization from installing gateways. So you can just switch it on. And here you can enter the name or email addresses whom you are allowing to install the Power BI data gateways or to manage gateways installer. I hope now you have complete understanding of virtual network data gateways and how to use them or how to create them. If you have any questions or concerns, Please don't forget to mention it in the comment section and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also if you are new over here, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power Bay videos.